How's it going guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to modify Minecraft. In a previous video I showed you what I would call the manual way. Um, it takes a lot more time I guess I could say and it requires moving uh, mod files from folder to folder uh, manually um, and that's just not the fastest way. So here I'm going to be showing you on CurseForge and through CurseForge you can actually make your own mod packs. Um, so if we go through to here, you're going to want to register and log in and verify through email your account so you can log in and have access to the website. It's kind of important. So if you see down here, download Twitch desktop, a middle mouse click on that. It's going to open a new tab. And over here, if you are on Mac OS, you're going to want to go ahead and click download for Mac OS, which would be anything like a, um, like an iMac or, or like a, a Apple laptop, those will work. So you can do that through here or download for Windows, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm on Windows. And so once you've downloaded the app, it's gonna show you a little icon that looks like this. It's gonna be an installer icon. Double click that, it'll bring up the install window and it'll guide you through it. Where do you want it to install? There should be no adware or anything like that. As long as you download from the official Twitch website, you should not have any kinds of problems with viruses. And then we're going to go here on the main page. So when you click this anvil up here, it'll take you to the main page of the website, which just so happens to be this page I'm on. And you can go here and you can go to Featured Games. And here you can see the list of CurseForge hosted um, bucket plugins, mod packs, customization tools, add-ons, mods, texture packs and worlds um, which is all very well and good so this is kind of connecting to that original manual way you can download the stuff here and you can drag it into the folders that it goes to if you'd like but there is an easier way so here on the twitch app once you're all logged in and, and launched and everything um, it's 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 pretty simple but if i do have people putting comments that are having issues i can try to help you figure it out um, but once you get here you're going to click on this file settings and now when you go to add-ons you're going to have to search uh, for your games so they can verify make sure you have minecraft installed before you try this all right scan computer or locate game all right and so for this i'll just do the example of minecraft go ahead and go to your pc um, your main hard drive which is usually called local disk users your name and then app data which is a hidden folder i'll put an overlay in the video to show how to get hidden folders to show just in case you don't already have that set up roaming.minecraft and this game is already being tracked by the twitch app because it is but um, for you it may not be let's see our minecraft path here this is how i get there um you can set all kinds of things the main thing that's important here is allocated memory. You're going to need at least four gigabytes. Um, let me see really quick. Eight, one, nine, two, divided by eight times four. So 4096 is how much you're going to need in this slider for most mod packs. That is four gigabytes of RAM. If you don't know what RAM is, I have trouble explaining it. So you <laughs> have to go figure that out. Um, so you're going to click create custom profile. We're just going to call this mod pack name. And here in the version drop down, you can pick any version from 1.14.4 all the way back to 1.0. So go ahead and pick your preferred version. Pick any version of Forge you want. I don't know why you would want an older version of Forge, but you can do that. And then click create. Okay, so you see here that in these other mod packs, it shows you the mod list, a resource pack if they have one, and a map if they have one. I believe this one has a resource pack. Yep. This one has a map? No. Okay. So, when you go into your mod pack, you have no mods, no resource packs, and no maps. So here, you can go into profile options, you can change the name of it, you can... Uh, edit the release version of your your profile i think eventually you can add a thumbnail or something to it if you wanted to make an official mod pack which is what i'm working on right now so then you go into here and you have this list of resource packs maps 
and mods. And it's really simple, you just click install. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna click install. I'm gonna grab JEI, Journeycraft, I wanna grab Mantle. Um, or actually, here, I'm going to uninstall Mantle really quick, just to show you guys really cool functionality with the Twitch launcher. All right, so I install Mantle. So if I go into um, get more content and I install Tinker's Construct, um, oops, if I install Tinker's Construct, it's actually going to install Mantle for me because Mantle is a core mod for Tinker's Construct. Awesome. And then inventory tweaks and mouse tweaks. We're just gonna grab these. These are my essentials, I would say. All right, so these are the mods I'm starting with. Then you simply click play. It's going to install everything for you. And then make sure that you log into Minecraft on this launcher page. Otherwise, it's going to bring you to the uh, Mojang webpage to purchase Minecraft. And if you already own the game, there's no reason to do that. So uh, just make sure you're logged in. It should be in the top left somewhere. I'm not really sure as I am logged in right now. So we're going to click play. It's going to prepare and it's going to launch. So you can see this little anvil getting hit by a hammer and it's going through all of these files for me. This process will take longer depending on the amount of mods you have. So if you have a lot of mods, the process is going to take a while. Anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes. I've waited as long as 15 minutes for a 400 plus mod pack. Um, that's not necessary, but if you are interested in doing that, you can do that. Not very stable. It tends to crash. So here we are in Minecraft, just like that, and we have Tinker's Construct enabled. We have the manual in our hand here. Uh, let's see, uh, we've got inventory tweaks, we have mouse tweaks, right? And then let's see what else, journey map, right? We have journey map enabled, boom, there's journey map, full functionality, awesome. Gonna hit save and quit. And just really quick, I'm going to go over troubleshooting. So if you're like me, when you have this unlimited resource of whatever mod you could possibly think of, and you're like, oh, yes, I want to get all the mods. All right. So you, you get all the mods. That's fine. Go ahead and get all the mods. There's going to be some conflicts. Um, and that is some mods won't agree with other mods. If you get journey map, you may not be able to get another map mod because they might edit the same files or add to the same uh uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, classes, I guess. Um, which is frustrating. Uh, your game is going to crash uh, when you add a large amount of mods, right? So if you're making a light pack, maybe 30 plus mods, no big deal. But anything over 130, you're going to have some conflicts. Um, and some of these conflicts can be resolved, but for the most part, you're just going to want to remove the mod that you don't want that is causing the issues. So let's say that mouse tweaks is causing a conflict with inventory tweaks but i don't know that so the way i'm going to find out that mouse tweaks is causing the issue is by disabling mods in sections so i'll go from you know inventory tweaks to journey map and let's say there's however many mods in between these two disable those mods make sure you keep track of which ones you turned off and then you're going to start the game if the problem persists oops we crashed again all right i'm going to disable two more mods and as you can see, a little note here, is that disabling Mantle and disabling Tinker's Construct uh, goes hand in hand, kind of. If you enable Mantle, it does not enable Tinker's Construct, but if you disable Mantle, it will disable Tinker's Construct. Enable Tinker's Construct, and it will enable Mantle. So, in that way, Twitch um, handholds you a lot in the management of core mods and their uh, dependents. So, um, in that way, you can almost never go wrong, but you might still go wrong. So let's say you've managed to whittle down your search all the way to mouse tweaks and you launch the game with just mouse tweaks enabled. Well, I mean, it's not going to crash now because it's not having a conflict. Um, but you can start to re-enable mods bit by bit, right? So I'm going to enable Mantle, Tinker's Construct, JEI. Okay. Yep, yep, okay. That worked fine. Enable Journey Map and five other mods. Yep, okay, that worked fine. And then I'm going to enable Inventory Tweaks. And... Oh, uh-oh, we crashed. Not really, but, you know, for the sake of the demonstration. We crashed. So that's how I can find out that 
I'm having an issue with these two mods. It's because this mod works fine, this one works fine, but as soon as I enabled this one, suddenly we had a crash. Um, or even simpler, just don't know which mod it is. Disabled by sections, you know, five at a time, six at a time. And just see which one, which section stops the crash and then re-enable one mod from that section each until you finally completely corrected the crash. Um, Alright, so following this video, I'm going to be making my mod pack and I'll be uploading a video on that as well. If you have any issues, be sure to get to me in the comments section and I will try to help as much as I can.